Hi, I'm Leanne Gensler, rheumatologist from San Francisco at UCSF. And at this ACR meeting, I will be going over the spondyloarthritis topics. Today is day one of the meeting and really we've only had the opening ceremony. And so I'm going to look forward over the course of the meeting and, and uh, highlight areas where I think are being uh, well displayed at the meeting. Uh, so first I'd say this is such an atypical year for us not to be gathering in person. And so I would really encourage anyone interested in spinal arthritis to gather virtually if possible. And, and you would do that by going to one of the study groups in spinal arthritis, there's two this year, highlighting nomenclature and IBD. And then also to think about joining uh, groups of interested uh, members in spinal arthritis at the community hub, where we will gather at least in person on video. Beyond that, I think an interesting area this year at this year's meeting is the topic of enthesitis. Uh, and so there's actually a session on the anatomy of enthesitis by Dennis McGoganagel. And in addition to that, some interesting abstracts looking at what does it mean when you clinically evaluate enthesitis and then do MRI and really recognizing that what we believe is enthesitis on clinical exam may not be such an entity when you actually image patients. Beyond that, there's a session on MRI and the utility of MRI um, for the diagnosis of axial spondylarthritis. And so this will be a very pragmatic uh, session where we'll show lots of imaging. And, and then following that session, we'll go to the community hub where we'll further discuss uh, images and you will be able to participate as a, um, as a member uh, interpreting imaging studies. There is a lot at this meeting on novel treatments to think about. So uh, in, in particular, several abstracts looking at JAK inhibitors in spondyloarthritis. There is uh, the first abstract looking at upadacitinib in psoriatic arthritis with a biologic DMOD inadequate response. In addition, the, the phase three study is a late breaker for tofacitinib in ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, beyond that, interesting data showing Fulgotinib, a JAK1 inhibitor's impact on MRI inflammation in axial spondyloarthritis, and then, and then uh, some long-term extension data from upadacitinib in, in ankylosing spondylitis. Other than that, novel mechanisms that are being highlighted, so some of the IL-23 monoclonal antibodies, uh, tildacuzumab in psoriatic arthritis, a phase 2b study, and then I think some very novel approaches at looking at axial manifestations of psoriatic arthritis. So a couple of abstracts on the MAXIMIZE trial, which is Sakakinumab's trial uh, for patients with psoriatic arthritis and axial manifestations, and Guselcumab's uh, impact from the DISCOVER 1 and 2 trials on axial manifestations in active psoriatic arthritis. Uh, aside from that, some open label strategy trials looking at escalation of methotrexate compared to adding adalimumab in psoriatic arthritis. And then finally, thinking about whether our drugs have an impact on disease modification and some interesting data looking at COX-2, perhaps selective impact on radiographic progression in ankylosing spondylitis. And, uh, and then also looking at what happens short term when you give patients TNF inhibitors um, and then look at osteoblastic activity on PET MRI. So fantastic abstracts coming to us this year at ACR. I will be back on a daily basis to review the abstracts that are presented and any sessions uh, that we should be highlighting. And for more information, please go to room now.